Back in the past, it was really hard to make accurate predictions and models of how molecules would bind together, specifically proteins and other proteins. But now, we have software like VMD and NAMD, which can visualize and replicate how certain proteins and molecules would bind together in real life. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how the capsid protein in a certain virus, more specifically the adeno-associated virus, will bind to other molecules and proteins. Um, this is super cool as you can actually accurately predict how these molecules interact with each other and what the outcomes will be. And although it's only at a really small scale, it's super important because protein-to-protein -protein interactions are extremely pivotal to the way a single organism works. So without further ado, here it is. Okay, so this is the adeno-associated virus capsid protein, and I ran it through a software called VMD, which visualized the entire structure of the protein. This is also an adeno-associated virus, except at a much larger scale. This is the entirety of the virus, with all of the proteins and RNA combined. I think the fact that we have access to these types of technologies and software is really cool. Like, compared to 20 years ago, this would have been unfeasible. Like, look, there are 4,112 atoms over there. That's really complex, and the fact that this is like streamlined and it's publicized is insane. Hey, that was part one of two in the series where I explained exactly how this software works. In the next episode, we're going to see how exactly these molecule to molecule interactions work, and specifically the ones with the adeno-associated virus capsid. Okay, see you then. Bye!